Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Saren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at how people see you when you meet for the first time. Okay, so now I'm going to be showing your crystals but before I do please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching. So for pile number one, we have this golden cat's eye crystal. For pile number two, we have this orange calcite. And for pile number three, we have this green aventurine. I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one pile, you can pick two or all of them. Your intuition will always know best. You can also pause the video if you need more time and if you're done picking a pile please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below and then I will see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this golden cat's eye crystal this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at how people see you when you meet for the first time, okay? You chose the card in an oracle with you are the channel, deja vu and self-fulfilling prophecy. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards for you now. But before I do, please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching. So as I tapped into your energy <laughs> and just put this crystal down and this card down, um, I was looking at the two together and it was reminding me of like just the color scheme. Um, Spirit was showing me like, uh, you know, those women that do their makeup and um they they first put like brown um how do i put this in words they first put like brown lip liner and then they put lip gloss over it and it just looks very good like their lips look very good and plump i don't know how to explain that maybe i'm seeing that for some of you <laughs> of course not everyone wears lipstick like that but perhaps some of you do a very few of you um, and maybe people like the way you wear your lipstick or for others of you watching if you don't wear it like that Maybe people just are very drawn to your lips when you meet for the first time like perhaps how you apply lip gloss or lipstick or Maybe your lips just look very sexy and cute. I don't know <laughs> And then I heard um, Tyler the creator's voice <laughs> I don't know why spirit like does this to me but sometimes spirit plays me like something Tyler the creator says but with his voice like so I just heard brown sugar honey like almost like I'm looking at someone's lips and I'm like brown sugar honey like your lips taste sweet kind of energy so perhaps some people are drawn to your lips and they want to taste your lips in some type of way <laughs> okay when they first meet you for the first time okay that is what i'm seeing um i will say i do feel a lot of lustful energy here for some of you but let me add your cards now okay my pile number ones i'm now gonna add your cards we have here naked i absolutely love this card if you've watched my channel before <laughs> if you've seen my videos before and how I explain this card um, I'll, I'll explain in a moment if you haven't so now we have the future for oracle well tarot cards these small tarot cards we have the wheel of fortune And we have the Temperance card. So let me actually do this. I want to create space here. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, so we have the Ace of Inspiration, which is the Ace of Wands. We have the Eight of Inspiration, which is the Eight of Wands. We have the Star card. We have the Queen of Voices, which is the Queen of Swords. We have the Sun card. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Three of Cups. Okay, my pile number ones, now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly how people see you when you meet for the first time. So as I'm, you know, preparing for your video, um, while not preparing, but like laying your cards out, organizing them properly, um, I kept having like strands of hair come in my face. So I know that in itself is a message because I'm, I keep pushing it back, but it keeps coming in my face. I know what this means. So perhaps some of you have beautiful hair um, and people notice that first, like when they meet you for the first time. Some of you have, you know, straight hair that is very gorgeous and like people just want to run their fingers through your hair when they first meet you. Um, some of you have wavy hair, of course. Some of you have shorter hair where it's like maybe some strands come in your face or some of you have fringes and then it's like those strands of hair are above your face if that makes sense because I'm feeling it like on my face so some of you just wear like ponytails and then you have strands like two strands of hair in your face and it looks really good on you or some of you have curly hair and it like curls at these strands and it's like people notice that and find it really gorgeous something about your hair no matter what your hair looks like something about your hair is like what people notice first when they meet you and that is something i'm seeing but with the inner oracle card with you are the channel deja vu and self-fulfilling prophecy i feel like sometimes when people meet you for the first time they kind of feel like they have known you before it's like this familiarity um for some people when they meet you for the first time because it's like you know when you meet someone and they look so familiar but you haven't met them before or you can't like figure out in your brain where you've met them and in your brain you can't figure out where it could have been or the timeline or anything like that and then you think oh what if i haven't met this person what if i'm just like making this up in my mind but they look so familiar and i can't figure out in my brain <laughs> so there is that sense of you looking very familiar or people feeling like they have deja vu when they see you in some type of way for the first time like they have met you before and spirit is telling me some of it is actually deja vu yes because um like i'm hearing maybe their future self has met you and then they dreamt about it because you know how time doesn't exist in the spiritual realms maybe they dreamt about it and then they actually met you but they forgot about the dream that's why they can't figure out in their mind for some people that actually dream about you before they meet you because something about the encounter is fated in some way with the wheel of fortune um a key to unlock something so i don't mean all of it is like soul family some of it could be karmic um or lessons like for both ends or something about it could lead to something else 
on on both of your timelines so for example let's say someone meets you and um you do a photo shoot together and they they are in your life for once in your life not meeting them many many times over and over again but they introduce you to a bunch of people you are fated to meet for example um where it's like a series of events that are um fated in some way you get what i mean so that's what i see or for some of you um well it just depends on the people because of course not everyone that meets you is gonna feel like it's fated maybe they do feel like it's fated or like they've met you in a past life but some of it is like in different categories if that makes sense is what spirit's showing me and um there is a sense of sometimes people have known you in past lives and then they meet you in this life and there is this sense of familiarity when they meet you for the first time and for some i'm seeing with the future card it's kind of like some people here are clairvoyant like some people that meet you are clairvoyant and can see a little bit into the future without realizing um, and then they meet you in that future energy if that makes sense i wasn't meaning for this to become so spiritual but i think it's also because you are very intuitive my pile number ones um so when you naturally meet people they kind of sense the energy or maybe it's like people that resonate on the same frequency of you that are also intuitive um but maybe don't know they have gifts i don't know something along those lines is what i'm feeling here there is also you know how i said in the beginning a lustful energy there is that too that i'm seeing like i do see a lot of people kind of lusting over you when you meet for the first time and thinking of you and seeing you is really sexy in some type of way with the ace of wands even um there is this kind of attraction energy so when people meet you for the first time it's like they see you as very attractive very sexy in some type of way and it's like they almost want to undress you with the eyes with the naked card is what i feel here with all the energies i don't usually read that naked card like that but since we have those other things i see it like that okay um and if you know about the mummy water energy well i'm not gonna go too much in detail but basically she is known in the um high tea culture and the caribbean culture as la serene well in caribbean they're no she's known as la serene but she's basically a water spirit and she can like lure people in um either for the best or for the worst so you know her story is a little bit complicated in itself because if you go there with bad intentions she's gonna be your worst nightmare but if you go there and you get kidnapped by her you know and you're good to her and you don't disobey her she may actually let you come to the surface again and give you gifts like some people she will give them gifts and they can heal people all of a sudden and they can um or some people come back with like a lot of riches but then their voice gets taken away so that they can't um even my voice went funny now <laughs> so that they can't speak about her or reveal her presence but i've also heard lots of stories where people that go and walk around at night can get kidnapped by her in the ocean or in the rivers and um sometimes they don't come back at all sometimes people will get kidnapped by her because they're trying to steal something from her or look for her intentionally and then they get kidnapped by her um some people you know end up how do i put this in words like i forgot about this but spirit is showing me this some people like um 
perhaps it's related to the reading some people go and they walk by the ocean and then they get kidnapped by her because they look familiar to a spouse the mermaid spirit once had and then they are kind of captured and forced to be their lover <laughs> um, and have babies with them but that is the feeling I get here so perhaps um, for some of you there is this feeling of like you know how she lures people in like a mermaid spirit of course there is a sense of people almost feeling very attracted to you feeling like you're luring them in with your attractiveness seductiveness even if you don't think of yourself that way this is just how some people see you for the first time because I was feeling a lot of lust energies like people just being very attracted to you almost wanting to undress you with their eyes but there's also the sense of I can be your biggest dream but biggest nightmare is what people see when they first meet you like where you give off this vibe of don't f with me I will bite your head off like the um, spirit is showing me the spider um, the black widow I think I think she bites people's heads the lovers heads off I don't know but it's almost like people that are romantically interested in you it's almost like when they meet you for the first time they kind of feel like this vibe from you of oh if I if them over they're gonna bite my head off you know kind of energy like I don't know I, I'm getting that vibe but also like this vibe of I can be your biggest dream but I can also be your biggest nightmare depending on what intentions you have towards me and for some of you maybe the deja vu thing is you looking like a previous partner of theirs and them being very attracted to you or um, like let's say they had a partner in the past that had specific qualities that you have in personality and you remind them of something from the past which gives that deja vu energy okay that's just for some people not all people like some people you meet not all people okay and I'm also feeling here it's just a sense of like when I say lover from the past it's almost like with the future card I see it as like you know when people use those pickup lines and they're like I've seen you in my dreams before like you're my lover like I've seen you in my dreams before that kind of energy I see that so I guess it just depends on the people you meet which category they fall into but this is the basic energy I'm seeing um, and sometimes people do I do feel some jealousy when people meet you for the first time because of how attractive they see you as um, so there is some jealousy here from the same the same like gender as you is what I'm seeing but there's also the sense of people seeing you as really beautiful very vibrant um because all the colors here are so vibrant there's the sense of people seeing you as very vibrant when they meet you for the first time seeing you with a mind that is very colorful um of course I mentioned all the attractiveness but I think that's also just because they've met you for the first time and they didn't really get to know you yet but now that we are going deeper I'm seeing when people get to know you more when they meet you for the first time and they talk to you it's like they see you have a vibrant personality a mind that is full of rainbows um, that is the sense I get here they see you as very smart when you speak and uh, with the Queen of Swords there's something about your voice that is very attractive or alluring or cute or gentle like something about your voice people like and there's something about the way you communicate that people like um, there's something about you shining when you communicate with the star opposite the Queen of Swords and um, you sound very elegant when you speak or very 
knowledgeable or very smart something about when you speak and when you talk to people you just invite them into your colorful mind your colorful world some of you have vibrant personalities and that's what people see when they meet you for the first time that you're a vibrant soul with a lot of a colorful personality is the feeling I get um, some people see you when they meet you for the first time with the sun card as someone that is happy-go-lucky as someone that just has a vibrant personality and vibrant soul happy-go-lucky vibe is what I feel here um, but also people may see you as someone that is very funny when they meet you for the first time or very charming or very happy like maybe some people see you smile and then they think you are a very happy person even if you are not <laughs> okay please be aware we are doing a reading on what people see when they meet you for the first time so even if you don't resonate with it people may see a portion of your energy and just think you are all like that if that makes sense okay so just keep that in mind um but there is also a sense of people feeling like you have a warmth, a warmth vibe to you, like you have a heart of gold, like you just have a warm energy, like a warm hug energy, if that makes sense. Like when people talk to you, they feel like they have in your presence they feel like they're getting a warm hug if that makes sense that's what I'm seeing um, and there is also a sense of people wanting to make memories with you in the future wanting to see you in the future wanting to um, see what you would be like in the future if what they saw you as was true you know how when we meet people for the first time we may have some misconceptions about them or assumptions about them that are not true. It's like almost like people when they meet you for the first time, they want to see you in the future again and know if you are like the assumptions they have of you or if you're actually different, if you would act the same, if you would not, if you'd want to see them in the future. There is a sense of people wanting to make further plans with you when after they meet you for the first time because it's like they want to see deeper into your world um there's something about your world being very vibrant and colorful and they want to see deeper into your world and i think people really admire your personality when they meet you for the first time i want to plan future plans with you and see what you would be like in the future Okay, uh, there is also a sense of people feeling like you are very intuitive when you meet them for the first time. Maybe something you say to them um, makes you seem very intuitive, like you say something but don't realize you're saying something about their life. And then they're like, how did this person know that? <laughs> Is this person my soulmate? Like I do feel some people think you are their soulmate when you meet for the first time because of how intuitive you are. Then it's just like they have this deja vu feeling and then do you say something intuitive to them that no one else would know that you don't even know why you're saying that the deep story behind it and then they're like oh, this is my soulmate like kind of energy and um, that is what I feel here what I mean by this is sometimes I will tell clients things and I will not know why I'm telling them that but it has a deeper meaning behind it to their life okay and sometimes us intuitive people do that without realizing I'm going to try think of an example. Uh, the other day, not the other day, a few weeks ago, this is a silly example that doesn't really do much. Now I'm hearing a ringing in my ears. I don't know if I really want to say this on camera. Okay, Spirit is guiding me to tell a more serious one, not a silly one. Not a silly example. So the silly example I was going to use is 
about two or three weeks ago, I did a reading for someone and I tasted um, the specific alcohol uh, cider and I was like, why am I tasting this? And she was like, I drank that before the reading. But Spirit wants me to use another example. I didn't really want to use this because this is a bit, a bit personal to someone, but I'm not going to mention the client's name to just keep that confidentiality, but just use this as an example. So I felt a certain pain on a certain body part of mine and I was connecting to someone's passed on loved one. Okay. And I told them about the specific part of the body I was experiencing pain and I was like, did this mean anything to you? Does this mean anything to you? I can't figure out why I'm feeling this pain. And they said, oh, um, that specific passed on loved one passed away and broke that certain body part um, when it happened when they passed away. So only they would have known that, but I wouldn't have known that. You get what I mean? So that's just an example. Uh, so sometimes you say things without realizing that you are intuitively feeling people's energies. And then they think that it's faded <laughs> in some way. So this is what I feel here. I also feel like sometimes people, like the intuitive people that sense your energy, can sometimes sense that you are holding on to pain from the past. Like I feel like you have been hurt in the past by people emotionally. And there is a sense of people intuitively feeling those hurt memories, feeling being wounded in some way, but also feeling that you have been wounded in in some area of your life where you've received a lack of something. Like, let's say you grew up with a lack of money or a lack of security, lack of safety, lack of love, lack of nurturing. It's something like that. And it's like sometimes people intuitively sense the pain of the past that you're trying to leave behind, that you're trying to move forward from, okay? And there is that sense of sometimes people don't intuitively feel it, but with the naked card, I see this, since she's underwater, I see this as being emotionally vulnerable. So maybe you are emotionally vulnerable with strangers sometimes and that's how they know this and they see you moving forward from it and they see you not trying to hold on from it but trying to heal from it and trying to figure out why that wound is there so that we can clear it out and heal it and with the temperance card i see this as like you alchemizing your pain you um patiently um, alchemizing your pain and healing what was once there and maybe people see you as emotionally vulnerable when you let them into your past memories or your past moments and how you are liberating yourself of that so sometimes people feel like you are liberating yourself from that pain and you're not letting it um determine who you are right now and what life you're going to live right now there is a sense of you being wounded in the past but not putting that on other people and that's how people see you when they meet you for the first time that you're such a sweet kinded hearted person and um, like the brown sugar I heard from the beginning so people see you as very sweet like even when you talk it's sweet because we spoke about the lips um, before I heard the brown sugar so when you talk to people you sound very sweet and that's what they think of you when they meet you for the first time that you're really sweet and you didn't deserve to be hurt or wounded in your emotions okay and I'm also seeing I keep getting the word smart intelligent outspoken um, that's how people see you when you meet for the first time. Because, I mean, you have a Queen of Swords showing up twice. Um, there's something about the way you carry yourself when you speak. You look very confident in yourself when you speak. 
some of you have bobs like this because look at both images <laughs> they look similar <laughs> <laughs> and people like your bob or your hair even if it's not the same hair color something about your hair people like um people also think that you shine brightly when you meet them for the first time there's something about you being very attractive but also shining brightly as a person people also see you as someone that is wanting to move forward and live your life and not live in the past that's how they see you when they meet you for the first time and they also see you as someone that holds no judgment someone that is very sweet and compassionate but also someone that holds a sense of boundaries and um, does what is right with the libra scales here you could be seen as someone that really cares about humanity on a deep level when people meet you for the first time or really takes um, value in things being fair and balanced and harmonic when people meet you for the first time or they could see you as very balanced and harmonic and patient um, or they could just see you as someone that values those things in society or in your own world okay um i'm also getting something about being a deep thinker thinking deeply about the world or having a very intelligent colorful mind um colorful imaginative mind is what i feel here sometimes people feel like you are indecisive when they first meet you for some of you um but it's not that you're indecisive i think you just need to weigh out both options first you know what i mean that's what i'm feeling here it's not that you're indecisive it's just they they see you as that when they meet you for the first time because you like to think about a decision before you make it not just make the decision impulsively so sometimes people are impulsive in their decisions and then they like make a decision very quickly and they think that someone that doesn't is indecisive i don't know that's what i'm feeling some people f see you as very powerful when they meet you for the first time having this inner power in you but not kind of showing it to the world if that makes sense um the people that are jealous of you the jealousy i felt sometimes see you as egoic but i don't think you are my pal number ones i think that's just their own projections because they're jealous of you okay that's what i'm seeing some people also see you as someone that has learned hard lessons in your life that has had tough lessons to work through but has grown into someone that is mature and responsible as a result of that and sometimes people also see you as very lucky um someone that has things turn in your favor even though you maybe had hard lessons in the past it's like people see you right now as someone that has had your luck change around and people also see you as a very um friendly person is what i'm feeling friendly and sweet but also people want to be your friends when they talk to you for the first time because it's like they get to know your mind and they want to be your friend they want to see you in the future and make further plans with you and this is what i feel from your reading of how people see you when you meet for the first time my pal number ones i really hope that this reading resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and i can't wait to see you in my next reading bye hi there my pal number twos if you chose this orange calcite crystal this reading is for you we're going to be taking a look at how people see you when they meet you for the first time okay please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching i'm now going to add the rest of your cards um you chose the card golden light ray with love and laughter receiving and giving gifts and passionate projects okay so for your cards we have 
surrender we have truth we have the death card we have the star card We have the Hermit. We have the Ace of Materials, which is the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Voices, which is the Ten of Swords. We have the Lovers. Um, when I pulled the Ten of Swords card, I was hearing like something like a robotic voice, like your membership has expired. <laughs> um, we'll see what that means in a moment, but I have a feeling what it means already. Um, I think it's maybe people sensing people from your past. Like, since it's next to the lover's card, like, your relationship with them doesn't have to be romantic, has expired in some way. We have the Magician card. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Knight of Cups. we have the high priestess okay okay my pal number twos now that we have your cards laid out i see exactly how people see you when you meet for the first time as i was saying i heard something in a robotic voice of like your membership has expired <laughs> spirit showed me a few things while i was like laying out your cards and organizing them um, so Spirit showed me like sometimes people see that you have gone through a lot in your life is what I feel like gone through betrayals in your life. I don't know if you talk about it when you meet people for the first time or they just intuitively sense it that you've been hurt before. Um, because some of you, I mean, we chose the Golden Light Ray card with all the happiness here. But it's like sometimes people see past that. Like, yes, you're happy in the moment and you're smiling in the moment. But sometimes people see past it. Um, I feel like people intuitively sense it if you don't tell them this. But there is a sense of betrayal and like you going through chaotic moments in your life in terms of your emotions and you're with the death card you're currently letting go of it and healing it with the star card so that's how people see you when they meet you for the first time if they intuitively sense this or pick up on it um i'm hearing body language sometimes like they sense it from your body language um i don't know how to explain it but let's say um Let's say I've been betrayed in the past or hurt in the past and someone comes to me and they have good intentions towards me but then I'm kind of like suspicious of them. Then maybe it would give off that energy like I've been hurt in the past where they almost sort of understand it if they have to or you know that kind of energy is an example. Um, I'm not exactly sure how these people know but some of them just sense it intuitively um they sense that you've been hurt in the past and spirit showed me um like when i said the robotic voice of your membership has expired it's like you've been hurt in the past yes but you are a strong soul and that is what people see you as when they meet you for the first time that you 
are strong and resilient and you stand in your truth and you're moving forward you're not holding on to it you're healing it with the hermit card uh looking within and trying to create something different with the magician card um so i just feel like people naturally sense that you are on your healing journey from people in the past that have been toxic towards you or had bad intentions towards you and people naturally sense that when they first meet you some people not all people but it's the first thing i'm getting and when i said that robotic voice of your membership has expired spirit showed me um a instagram reel i watched i don't know when i watched it it was a while ago long 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 ago maybe a year ago so it's obvious like spirit showed me it's a division but i don't know why spirit shows me instagram reels it was basically a woman speaking to her ex-boyfriend and her boyfriend wanted her back and she found out he cheated on her or something like that and like she was like sorry um the person you have dialed is unavailable at present please try again later like in in the text chat uh something like that so they're showing me that spirit um so maybe it's like you are unavailable to a lot of people in love um because of the past like maybe you're still healing some of you or maybe that's how some people see you it's like you are unavailable to them because you're healing um that's how they see you but i feel like with the surrender card and all the roses we have here the red roses and the lovers card there is a sense when people meet you for the first time there is a lot of people that are romantically interested in you that want to form a deep bond or deep connection or relationship with you from meeting you for the first time i'm hearing the song god is a woman by ariana grande so there is a lot of um, attraction energy here people kind of falling in love with you at first sight is what I see seeing you as really beautiful or really handsome or really attractive um, I mean even the way her legs are here it just looks um, like her legs look very pretty I don't know how to explain it like they look moisturized and everything and like her dress looks really pretty i don't know that's a feeling i get maybe some people are just really attracted to you it's almost like they view you as a god or a goddess like that's the feeling i get when people see you for the first time especially if they are romantically interested in you it's like they see you as very attractive very beautiful very handsome but also very sexy at the same time if you are a woman i'm feeling like something about your body and your hips and your legs is very sexy um is what i'm seeing or if you sometimes wear clothes where cleavage is showing or something like that or people just view you that way when they meet you for the first time like they feel very attracted to you of course we're just getting the first impression energy here so even if you don't see yourself this way this may just be how people see you when they first meet you not everyone but a small portion of people as i read i'm like picking up on different people and what they think okay um so there is that and like they are a lot of people are romantically interested in you and if you're a man it's like maybe you have a nice body as well because spirit keeps showing me a body like a uh, sexy body i don't know <laughs> but this is what i'm feeling here like people not only are in uh, interested in you in like they see you very attractive or very sexy it's like people also catch feelings or crush on you when they see you for the first time they they almost get like puppy love kind of giddy over you um i want to write love letters to you even though i don't know you kind of energy 
I want to buy you flowers even though I don't know you kind of energy. Love at si first sight kind of energy is what I feel here. So that is how some people see you. And then they feel like since you're healing, um, you're not open to them. Some of you are not open to them because you're not interested in them. But they think because you're healing, you're not interested. Some of you are healing and you're not interested in dating right now. Okay, so I guess it's a, take it as it resonates. Um, but of course, how people see you for the first time may not be how you see yourself. And I'm just picking up on different people at once. Um, there's something about people when they are romantically interested in you, they're scared to say so. They like crush on you and look at you from afar as we see here. But they're like scared to say something to you is what I feel here. But I feel like you can intuitively sense when people want to offer you love with the Knight of Cups next to the High Priestess, but also opposite to the Lover's card, you can intuitively sense when people are romantically interested in you. Um, so this is what I am feeling. I'm also feeling like you are seen as someone that is very attractive when people first meet you like not in the sense of romantically now now i'm picking up on a different energy like um people of the same gender looking at you and seeing you as very attractive very pretty or very handsome like oh my gosh i want to be their friend like they look so pretty or they look so they look so good like i don't know something about that something about you looking expensive and bougie as well is something I'm seeing. Even if you don't dress in expensive, luxurious clothes, there's something about you looking bougie or expensive in some way, or maybe the car you drive, or the way your nails are done, the way your hair is done. That's something I'm seeing. Some people think that you have really beautiful smiles, uh, really beautiful and gorgeous laughter when they first meet you, is what I'm seeing. And I also see that people sometimes see you as someone that has luxuries in life is something I'm seeing. If you, even if you don't, when they meet you for the first time, something about the way you carry yourself seems luxurious, okay? Um, there is also a feeling of people looking at you and seeing you as someone that has a lot of romantic interests or someone that is sought after romantically. I'm also feeling like people see you as someone that naturally takes care of yourself um, in body, mind and soul. So what I mean by this, some of you seem like you gym a lot or exercise a lot or eat healthy. Um, some of you just look like you take care of yourself like you go on regular spa days and really spoil yourself like that. Something about your skin looking really glowy, how people see you when they meet you for the first time. Or you shining out in some way and your skin looking very hydrated and glowy, like you look very healthy is something I'm hearing. Um, some of you look like you take care of yourself in mind, body, soul, like, that's the feeling I get, okay? I feel like people see you as someone with this grace, this power within you. Um, that's what I feel here, like, this graceful power, the soft kind of power, romantic energy as well like maybe hopeless romantic energy sometimes people see you as that when they meet you for the first time sometimes people see you as an old soul when they meet you for the first time i also see that some people see you as someone that has a pure soul when they first meet you there's something about you people's really seeing you as genuine like a pure soul really seeing you as someone that loves the whole world, that cares for the whole world. Um, people really feel like you are truthful and honest and a trustworthy person when they first meet you. And there's something about you are 
living in your truth authentic to yourself that's how some people see you as well and that you don't lie that you are very truthful that you are a very honest person and you live in your truth you live as your authentic self and that's how people see you when they meet you for the first time because they see you as someone that doesn't try to be something you're not that is very authentic to yourself but also very truthful and trustworthy um, and that's how people just see you when they meet you for the first time or feel about you. Um, there's something about you being very divine when people meet you for the first time. I'm hearing the word divine, like you look very divine in some way. Um, but also very enlightened and full of knowledge. That's how people see you when they meet you for the first time. There's something about you being protected is something I'm seeing. Um, I don't know how people know that or yeah that's what I'm feeling people also feel like you are open-minded and have a vibrant fun and expressive personality when they meet you for the first time that's how they see you there's something about you smiling laughter like you having this golden energy around you this warmth energy around you like your energy feels like a big warm hug is what I feel um, and how people see you when they meet you for the first time. They just see you as very open-minded, vibrant, fun to be around with an expressive personality. And th some people see you as someone that receives a lot of gifts from people. Um, sometimes people see you as someone very creative is something I'm seeing, even if you're not. Um, people see you as an open book. They, that you don't fear showing your emotions, okay? Um, and sometimes people also see you as someone that values your individuality, but also likes to be around people, okay? So that's what people kind of see you as. And there keeps being this energy of love around you. Like people think that you have a lot of people that fall in love with you. Um, I'm also seeing travel. People sometimes think that you travel a lot. Um, that is what I'm seeing. Sometimes people think you have a beautiful home. Like as I spoke about the, the luxurious energy. Sometimes people just think you have a lot of money and that you live in luxury is what I feel like your home. They're interested or curious about what your home looks like. Um, People see you as someone with a very expressive, fun, vibrant fashion style. Like your fashion style is unique and authentic to you and you kind of live in your truth in the way you express yourself. And then people kind of get curious to see, you know, what you're going to wear next if they ever see you again is what I'm seeing. Um, people see you as... Someone that is very playful and a pure soul. I keep getting pure soul energy. So that is what I'm feeling. People see you as someone that is very decisive when they meet you for the first time. But also someone that may reject a lot of people. Um, because it's like people see you as so attractive that they think you may reject a lot of people. Um, people's romantic offers. People see you as very fiery and feisty when they first meet you as well is something I'm seeing or someone that is very passionate about life, someone that has a lot of passionate hobbies is something I'm seeing as well and also people sometimes see you as someone that kind of goes with the flow, someone that is very relaxed and um Relaxed in the sense of like you aren't like stressing about every little detail like more so go with the flow energy um, People find you very either peaceful or very happy very joyful. I guess it just depends on the day and what your mood is in <laughs> But uh, a lot of people see you as someone with a vibrant personality someone with a colorful personality 
this glow to you. Um, it's like you give off this yellow vibe. Yellow to me is always this happy, fun vibe. Uh, yellow to me is also someone that knows their self-worth because yellow is connected to the solar plexus. So sometimes people see you as that. People see you as someone that is sometimes powerful in the sense where sometimes people are intimidated by you. Um, but I feel like I'm getting the message from Spirit when they feel intimidated by you, it's because they have negative intentions towards you and I said you have an aura of protection around you. So I'm seeing that um, and that's the reason why they see you like that. People see you as someone that has a lot of hope in the world, that views life with hope and positivity and this kind of this kind of energy of like seeing the world with color, seeing the world with um, hope and like having hope in humanity kind of energy is what I feel here, how people see you. This watch is really standing out to me. So some, something to do with time, like maybe people want more time to talk to you or get to know you or... It's like maybe sometimes people see you looking at the time. I don't know. Um, that is something I'm feeling. Your smile, your laughter, people really like. Um, there's something about you sometimes meeting people and them like being interested in what your zodiac sign is, is what I'm hearing from spirit. Um, like, what is your zodiac sign? <laughs> like, kind of energy. They're interested to see what zodiac sign you are based on your personality because some people are into, into astrology and then they see you and then they kind of guess your sign in their mind and they're like is this person the sign you know like that kind of energy um that's just for some people that see you this way of course when I'm tapping into this energy it's like different people I'm picking up on this energy and how they see you um, so people see you as someone that is very self-aware, very much like someone that thinks deeply about topics and situations and someone that is always looking within. Sometimes people can see you as someone that likes your alone time, whereas sometimes people can see you as someone that values your individual expression, like I said earlier, but likes being around people. So I guess it just depends on the day and what your mood is, how people see you in that sense. People see you as someone that gets a lot of opportunities with the Ace of Pentacles and they see you as someone that is very grounded in your personality, is very grounded in yourself, in who you are as a person. Um, sometimes people also see you as someone that values your connection to your body, like I said exercising, gymming, um, being out in nature. They may see you as someone that loves nature or being out in nature is something I'm hearing. Um, you seem or you are seen as someone when people meet you for the first time that has been through a lot but is trying to move forward and trying to, um, trying to create a different reality, a different version of yourself trying to heal. Um, people see you as very patient, but also very outgoing. Very fun to be around, very vibrant is what I keep getting. Um, people see you as emotionally balanced in some way, um, but people also see you as someone that goes after the things you want in life when they meet you for the first time. Like you don't really care about external circumstances or what other people say you go after the things you want people also see you as someone that has grown a lot as a person uh compared to your past and people see you as someone that always has people wanting to be around you like be your friend be your lover that's the energy i'm getting um, so this was your reading and this is what I feel. I feel like this is all I'm getting. 
Um, I keep hearing that song, God is a woman. <laughs> so there's something very divine about you that people see when they first meet you for the first time. But yeah, this is all I'm kind of getting about you, my pile number twos. I really hope that this reading resonated on how people see you when they meet you for the first time. Um, I, if it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye! Hi there my pile number threes, if you chose this green aventurine crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at how people see you when they meet you for the first time, okay? You chose the card light activation with evolution of spirit, actioning of plans and transcendence. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards, but before I do, please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching. Okay, so for your cards, we have Good Juju. We have Be Spontaneous. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Six of Coins, which is the Six of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Materials, which is the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Page of Inspiration, which is the Page of Wands. We have the Two of Inspiration, which is the Two of Wands. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Star. And lastly, we have the Ten of Cups. Okay, my pile number threes. Now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly how people see you when they meet you for the first time. So I'm seeing with the two of wands, it's like wherever you go, people often like to stare at you or watch you or look at you before they talk to you. Um, when they meet you for the first time, it's like people are very interested in you um, in some way. Like I'm seeing a lot of people, you know, are romantically interested in you with the Ten of Cups. But also some people just want to talk to you. They're curious about you when they first meet you. And they're curious as to how you are like as a person when they first meet you. And sometimes people also want to be your friend. And they kind of watch you from afar. Like wherever you go or if you go somewhere and you are going to talk to people. Like let's say you go to a party or you go somewhere and you're going to talk to people is like people notice you when they are about to meet you and they're kind of curious about you and who you are as a person. There is also the sense of people seeing you as very beautiful or very handsome, very attractive. I feel like this Venusian vibe, even if you aren't a woman, like this Venusian vibe of like people getting attracted to you when they first meet you, seeing you as someone that is very physically attractive and um, something about that interests people. Um, some of you are seen as very cute when they meet you for the first time and it's like that is something I'm seeing. Um, whereas some of you are seen as very gorgeous, very stunning, very Venusian or very handsome. Um, something I'm picking up on like is people really like your body, especially if you wear like clothes that are kind of revealing cleavage. 
is something I'm seeing if you're a woman. Um, people really like your fashion style when they see you for the first time. They see you as someone that is very fashionable, that has a good sense of style and fashion. Someone that can spend a lot of money on you know, their clothing, that's how people see you, even if you are not someone like that. That's just how people see you when they meet you for the first time. People also see you as someone that is, like I said, very Venusian, very attractive. Um, for some of you, your lips look juicy and it's like people think that you have kissable lips when they meet you for the first time. Um, and some people think that your lips are very cute. That's something I'm picking up on. Uh, your hair, something about your hair people like, even if your hair is tied up. It's like people like your hair when they first meet you. Uh, people also think of you as and see you as someone that attracts a lot of lovers to you. Uh, people see you as someone that loves yourself when they meet you for the first time. Someone that has a lot of self-love, a lot of high self-worth is something I'm seeing. Some of you just look very cute and people see you as very cute when they first meet you. Okay, and people think that you shine brightly when they see you and meet you for the first time. Uh, there's something also about you, people see you as very mysterious when they meet you for the first time. Um, not in the sense of you want to hide yourself, but mysterious in the sense you don't show everything at once. That's how sometimes people see you when they meet you for the first time. Or at least you don't tell people everything about yourself. You value your privacy is how people sometimes see you when they meet you for the first time. Okay, um, sometimes people see you as someone like they can get lost in your eyes is something I'm seeing. I'm also seeing people when they see you for the first time, they kind of feel like you have a vibrant personality, a vibrant soul, that you are a pure soul in some way is something I'm seeing as well. People see you as a pure soul, very trustworthy some of you have an angelic nature or presence or very calming presence, very ethereal presence, very magical presence in some way. And that's how people see you when they meet you for the first time. Some people see you as someone that is very hardworking when they meet you for the first time. That seems like uh, some people also see you as someone that has a lot of good luck when they meet you for the first time. Like you have a lot of good luck uh, with everything you do. I mean, you have the good juju card, but also the green aventurine crystal, which is a crystal of good luck. So people see you as someone that is very lucky when they meet you for the first time. People also see you as someone that is very generous with your time, your effort, your love or your communication when people see you for the first time and meet you for the first time. Uh, people also see you as someone that has a lot of material abundance in some way when they meet you for the first time, even if you don't. There's something about you look like you have a lot of money to spend um, and that is what I'm seeing and that you can be very generous with your money if you wanted to is what I'm seeing. There's also something about people seeing you as someone that is very spontaneous, that has a vibrant personality, that is very outgoing, very f free spirit is something I'm seeing. Uh, people see you as a free spirit, someone that's very spontaneous, probably someone that likes to travel or do spontaneous things um, is what I'm seeing. People see you as like when they meet you for the first time. Some of you have really good makeup styles, like you do your makeup really good. And some of you like people love the accessories you wear or people just love your fashion style, your sense of fashion when they first meet you. Some people see you as someone that is very independent, someone that values your independence and that is how they see you when they meet you for the first time. Of course, I'm picking up on different people and what they think and what they see when they meet you for the first time. 
um, but I'm just mentioning them all and at the same time. <laughs> Uh, some people see you as someone that is very nurturing, very kind, very patient, very down to earth, even though you have this Venusian attractiveness when they meet you for the first time. They see you as someone very down to earth and humble, but not not in the sense humble of not knowing your worth, but humble in the sense that you don't have to claim that you're so attractive when people first meet you but you know your worth but you also love yourself so there is that balance there but it's like sometimes people since this card the seven of swords is next to this card with the shell I picked up the Venusian energy because it reminds me of like Aphrodite when she stands on the shell that's why I picked up the Venusian energy um, so some people feel like you are so blessed by beauty. They sometimes feel very jealous of you with the seven of swords or jealous of your good luck or if you seem to have money, they sometimes feel very jealous of you and maybe that's why they kind of feel like you are mysterious because you know that some people are just jealous and they are trying to almost invade to get information on you and like it's from a jealous perspective so that's what I'm seeing there and sometimes I'm seeing some of you value your privacy in the sense where you don't post a lot on social media because you know people can get jealous and view with envy or you don't even if you do have a lot of material abundance you don't brag about it because you know people can get jealous so that is what I'm seeing uh, but I'm feeling like these people have a lot of pain in their hearts like I'm feeling a pain in my heart as I tap into their energy like when people are devious or have negative intentions towards you because they're jealous it's like they have pain in their heart in some way and they're almost taking it out on you People see you as someone that is very happy-go-lucky, someone that has a lot of knowledge, um, also someone that is very enlightened and sometimes people see you as someone that has a lot of spiritual knowledge or someone that is very spiritual. Like I said, free spirit, you give off the spiritual vibe when people meet you for the first time. Perhaps you wear crystals or you talk about spirituality or you just look like a free spirit. Then people think you are spiritual in some way. Um, but even here we see crystals. So maybe some of you wear crystals and people see you as that when they first meet you for the first time. Or wear crystal bracelets or necklaces is something I'm seeing. Uh, people see you as sometimes someone that is also seductive. I'm, I'm picking up on it a tad bit, but I feel like it's people that are really attracted to this Venusian aura you have that they sometimes mistaken it for that, but they're just attracted to you. Cause I, I don't know how to explain it. I feel like you are a pure soul and you're not really trying to always attract attention like that because I know some people like to be loved first they're not trying to gain attention like that so I don't know sometimes people just see you that way because they are attracted to you um, but I keep getting the word smart knowledgeable intelligent you seem like you have studied or have a lot of knowledge in some way that's how people see you. People also see you as someone with a bright light, someone with a bright personality, a vibrant soul is something I'm seeing when they meet you for the first time. Someone that is very curious, someone that is very open minded, someone that is very playful as well and very colorful personality is something I'm seeing. People also see you as someone that is in your truth, a truth speaker, someone that doesn't believe in illusions. Like, let's say if someone was to say something to you and you can see they are completely off in their perspective and you tell them the truth, 
it's like you break illusions to people sometimes is something I'm seeing or you stand in your truth that sometimes people see it as like you're breaking illusions I don't know how to explain it let me try give an example spirit please give me an example okay um let's say a friend comes up to you and they're like um this person did this and this and this to me they are so wrong and blah 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 and like they're they're venting and going off and you can see they're angry but perhaps you are a person that can see things from both perspectives and both sides and then you're like okay um but did you ask this person this and this and this did you talk to them about this and this and this? Did you get their perspective and their view? Maybe they did this because of this and this and this. Um, because you are someone that is spiritually enlightened in some way, it's like sometimes people view that as you breaking an illusion for them. And sometimes people are in their ego in those moments and they can't accept the truth is something I'm seeing. That's just an example. Um, people also see you as someone that is very grounded, very patient is something I'm seeing. And sometimes people, when they meet you for the first time, they feel like you have good fortune, like you have good luck, like the universe is in your favor in some way, if that makes sense. Um, some people see you as like the meeting was fated for some people that meet you for the first time. They feel like the meeting was fated or they learned a lesson through you or something about the um, events of them meeting you was meant to happen in some way. And I just feel like people are very curious about you when they meet you for the first time. It's like... You know how I said sometimes you're mysterious or you choose what to tell people or what not to tell people. It's like people always think you have more to you, but like they are curious about you. And then after they meet you, they want to go on social media and find you by like your first name or something like that. And then sometimes they can't find you or like... They, they're just curious about you. They have a lot of questions in their mind when they meet you for the first time. So you may want to check out my a video I made a few days ago. I don't know if it was a few days ago, but something about what people are curious about you. Um, so yeah, this is kind of what I'm seeing. I feel like people are also just seeing you as someone very fun very playful very vibrant soul someone that's very independent someone that always has plans for your future sometimes people see you as someone that loves animals um and sometimes people see you as someone that is very aligned to your wishes and your destiny and your fate or your purpose in some way people see you as someone that is very chilled very outgoing at the same time but also very chilled at the same time so I guess it depends on when they meet you sometimes people just feel safe in your presence and some people feel like you see the world with hope like you see the world through a spiritual perspective of miracles can happen and you know there's always a rainbow after the storm kind of energy um, and people also see you as someone that shines brightly when they meet you for the first time. Sometimes people see you as someone that has a high consciousness, um, someone that is very self-aware, someone that is very spiritually um, connected in some way. Uh, some people see you as someone that has an optimistic nature and is neutral to opinions if that makes sense like with the truthfulness you're like kind of fair and balanced and neutral if that makes sense and people see you as someone that is a good communicator when they meet you for the first time and sometimes people see the beauty within your soul not just the physical beauty in you when they meet you for the first time some people see you as someone that has a lot of wisdom when they meet you for the first time and 
that is what I'm feeling and as a result of that they are curious as to like how you healed or how you let go of things and that's the feeling I get because you're so wise sometimes people see you as someone that has healed a lot or has gone through a lot of your own things and had to let go of your own things to come to this point of view. Sometimes people see you as someone that likes your own solitude, that likes to be by yourself, by, but also someone that is very expressive, very charming, I'm hearing. People love to communicate with you when they meet you for the first time. It's like they are just curious cats and they want to get to know you more and more and more. Um, some people feel like you are someone that is a very energizing person like you have a lot of energy within you if that makes sense like they feel like you energize them when they're around you like you don't drain them um i keep getting like this energy that you're a pure soul people see you as someone that's a pure soul someone that's very protected someone that's very lucky someone that is believing in the energies of the universe someone that is kind someone that is patient um, sometimes people see you as someone that is ahead of your time I'm hearing uh, sometimes people see you as someone that has gone through a lot of lessons or lived life a lot where you can kind of see things from a higher perspective okay sometimes people see you as someone that you like your independence and it brings you this comfort where you don't like people almost invading on your personal space some people see you as someone that is a very happy soul very happy-go-lucky very playful but also someone that gets a lot of blessings and is spiritually aligned is celestial or ethereal in some way some people feel like you don't like change or like you yeah, like you don't like change or that you are stubborn in some way. But I don't know if that is a misconception of you. I don't know. Um, remember, this is just what people see you as when they meet you for the first time. They don't know you yet. Um, people see you often as someone they can be friends with. People want to be your friend. People see you as someone that is always planting beautiful seeds within your life. Um, growing in your life values growth people see you as someone that has transformed yourself and has really kept transforming yourself as a person that has found your own sense of personal power and they see you as someone that goes after the things you want and you don't really care about other people's opinions or it's irrelevant to you, you know what I mean? Sometimes people feel like you have a calming presence, but then you also have this energetic nature. So I guess it depends on what day they meet you. And it's like, I keep getting the energies like of a pure soul. People feel like you're very trustworthy, like you're a pure soul. But also artistry, I'm hearing artistry. Some people feel like you are creative in some way. Or you like looking at the arts or you like music or going to museums things like that is what I'm seeing and I keep getting the energy of like uh, you have your inner child with you you know how to play have laughter have fun uh, some people feel like you have a very strong heart like you've been through a lot but you have a very strong heart and strong nature um, some people also, I keep getting the energies of transformation, like you're always transforming yourself in your emotions, in the way you dress, in something like that. That's what I keep seeing. And this is how people see you when they meet you for the first time. Um, also, one last thing, when people are attracted to you, a lot of the times they want something serious from you or they see you as someone that values um long-term commitment like you are a spontaneous free spirit soul but you value commitment and it's like people want to commit to you it's like love at first sight type of energy as well when people see you for the first time and meet you for the first time 
So this is what I'm seeing for what people see you, how people see you as when they meet you for the first time. If you like this reading and this resonated, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye!